everyone! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Anara. I am a photographer and graphic designer working cross-disciplinarily within the field of visual communication with a focus on Australian music industry. Hi guys! Today we're gonna be doing another episode of how these artworks were made and I encourage you to subscribe and like this video. It helps a lot for it to be discovered. It's funny because I was looking through album covers yesterday and I picked some that I really like that I'll show you that I thought would be interesting to show how they were done. These are the artworks. Initially I was going for Grace Wonderwall repeat. I think it looks amazing and I love this kind of collage style. Then I was going for Olivia Rodrigo. I think it's kind of similar. You have like this collage burn vibe paper and then I was choosing between these. It's the same photographer. I think it's actually, wait, is it the same? I think Girl in Red and Grace Wonder World is by the same creator. I have it written down, so let me just check. Sorry, this one is by Elius Grace, photographer, and Girl in Red and Grace Wonder World is by Claire Gillen. And yeah, Olivia Rodrigo is by Petra Collins, which I mentioned in one of my videos of how I think she's pretty fucking badass claiming that her photography shaped 2010's kind of visual style. Not saying it didn't, but that's a pretty big statement and I really admire that. I saw this one. This is Cassie Case is Dead and La Roque's Park Assist. I think that this was taken, you know, in the studio. They're pretty big artists and they probably designed this robot helmet thing. Well, it's interesting because when you look at it, I think there is a light behind and it's more on this side and then maybe the back is open because you can see this light and this light. It's the same so it feels like it's going through so maybe the eyeballs and the back is just empty and then you obviously have a light from the front side shining which is blue and you can see the highlight in here and you can see the highlights in here looks like this is more prominent yeah well that's just my assumption I had a lot of doubts on what kind of artworks to choose it's not really done in post and what am I trying to explain and this one this one is my favorite one so far it's really fun it looks really really cool and has the nice blurred out frames there's something happening behind you can very hardly see oh here yeah. but there is the color half tone I think of course I don't know how these artworks were made it's just my attempt to try it and figure that out it's such an awful day today because it's raining and it's been very beautiful in the last couple of weeks however we have neighbors that are building the backyard so every day when it's good weather you'll hear people just banging on drilling and doing what not and it's always so loud so I can't record it on those days but when it's raining no one's working so perfect what we'll do we'll separate the workspace arrange in two so Grace Render will repeat was done by Claire Gillen the pictures that I'm using obviously they're not mine and I would be using them from Unsplash however why to use from Unsplash and I can use it from Grace's Instagram. Why I like doing these designs, kind of this series, because, and why I think it's important to copy someone's work is because you spend time looking at details. And for me, what I see in this work is, it's pretty roughly cut out. You can see it here. It's not perfectly, you know, done with magic wand tool. There is eyes cut out they are enlarged and then there is writings around here which I feel like was done on a paper and scan but we can definitely do it in Photoshop. I started off by dragging the pictures in Photoshop and choosing my main picture to cut out Grace's head and I did that using magic wand tool. It's not it's perfectly, not perfectly you know, done, done with magic, magic wand, wand tool. tool. Select subject option and then I just cut around it. Obviously, it doesn't have to be perfect. We want that kind of scrapbook look. This is gonna be our main head. I just noticed that she didn't have eyebrows here. They were drawn pretty cool. What you'd like to do probably is to drop a little shadow. Fuck, the hair looks awful with the shadow. Well, it stopped raining, so builders are here. Okay, 
So the hair is cut out very poorly, so I'll just do the same thing. to remove this hair because it's outrageous. These all are obviously the same shirt, so the lighting is consistent. So I'm just gonna head curves to this one just to make it kind of similar lighting and this one is a little bit too bleak. Cool, we need to add the eyes. I'll take eyes from this one. it we can just select the shape now and cut it out like this obviously her face is a little bit tilted so it's not gonna be exactly the same to the faces I'm just gonna add the drop shadow and I'm just gonna adjust a little bit that looks about right it's not too big you kind of can't even notice it and I'll add another layer where I'll add a brush black the layer is gonna be on soft light and just gonna opacity to like 3% it has a very prominent cheekbone which I assume is makeup I'm not sure if I like the black anyways this is what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna use a raise here in saturation pretty down in my opinion that looks pretty cool I'm gonna go through selective color I think that's easier for me to manipulate and if I go to magenta so magenta is kind of orange yeah and it's really bleak Now it's kind of just gonna paint. God, let me tell you, this is very uncomfortable. I need the trackpad too. You have pretty good brushes, I think, originally in Photoshop. I want something that would be kind of watercolor with media brushes. Here we are. I don't know how to draw, which is okay because I don't really need to. But you get the idea. Yeah, I don't feel like I need to tell you how to draw and write things. I really, really think you do know how to do that. So... You can go to brush, color dynamics, and then you can change here for it to change. And saturation. So now I'm just gonna... Whoa, what? Holy what? Do you remember those pencils that have different colors? I'm out. This is the best discovery. I kind of want to cry. What the fuck? What did I do wrong and good? Apply per tip? Maybe no. Yeah, cool. So no apply per tip. Oh, it's really not close to anything, but... And then the last things, pull up the texture. Best texture for that, in my opinion, is this. So it's from Texture Fabric, and I have an adjustment for it where I made this, and I like using it for photocopy effects. think do you reckon it's similar I think that her lips oh you know what let's take it to the next level I mean I'm not really good at drawing but I think it's pretty pretty damn accurate and I love how I was able to make the jawline you could 
take more time and do it perfectly. But we don't need to do it perfectly. Cool. I took a little break and I'm back now. I did some pondering which next album cover to redo and I decided to go for Case is Dead, La Rogue's Parkasis single cover. I don't know who designed it, shot it, made it. I feel like whenever it's a bigger artist, it's really hard to track because they kind of get full copyright or full rights to the image and they don't need to really tag anyone or they just don't do it. But if you know by any chance who made this, let me know in the comments below and I'm I'm definitely gonna put it up in my caption. I'd love to know that too. And so I pulled up this picture and I'll show you how things are done here. So I make a smart object and I'm gonna select the subject. And I mask it instantly. It merges really well, which I feel like is similar to the Robert thing. Now what I'm gonna do is in the background I'll make a circle. I'll make the circle mask. On that mask I will blur, I'll blur out the mask and then I unselect it so it wouldn't be linked and I'll just smaller, make it smaller. Maybe blur out a little bit more. Now I'll lock that. I'll add a gradient which I selected to be white and orange. And what you can always do, because you have this as a layer, so you can make it bigger and smaller if you need to. All I want to do is to create the oranges at the side, so you could kind of see the whiteness and the orange, because it's really highlighted. Obviously it doesn't have a lot of highlights, it's just purely red instead of having some depth with shadows of different blue but I can use the brush tool again with soft light and using black or white brush and opacity to like 10 I can kind of create a little bit of shadows yeah, it looks a little bit better. The next thing what you see is that it isn't really, you know, smooth as ours. So we need to kind of add that texture. The texture doesn't look like color halftone. It looks like excess, kind of metally texture. I just create a color fill which is RGB 1 to 5, all of them, and I make it a smart object so I could add different filters. Then another thing that I'll try doing... Oh, actually! And I'll save this as a PSD file so I could use it as a displace. And now... Oh, well, I literally did it. What if I put another displace? Well, it kind of has green, so I'll just add curves to this circle. I want to see if it's even yeah, fucking possible. Another thing that I wanted to change. So this, the right side is way harder and I want to keep it that way. Then I'll just drag this on. Now I'll do select color range. I'll select the blacks, make it in the middle. I've now selected this and I'll just put a thing. This is so fucking weird. <laughs> this is so hard already. This is so hard. It's like, it's driving me nuts. You know, every photographer says that better to do everything in real world just because editing things out is so hard. And if you don't tend to think 
at point and go to shoots and be like, oh, I'm just gonna, you know, I'm gonna create this shadow on the face. Now just gonna just do it. Just do it. Try and get it actually. Or like sometimes in the shoot I'm like, oh I see the shoe in this picture. I'm just gonna edit it out, doesn't matter. Just do it in real time because that's why you spend so much time editing things and that goes to that's for me too. not happy I'm so fucking not happy with this I just don't like the circle how it ended this is gonna be a really long video guys I'm giving up I think that's as close as we can get <laughs> it's not bad but it's not good either it's kind of flat but it's because of lighting I reckon this will have to do. This one is so pretty. This one is so bad. So bad. What about levels? I feel like I didn't add enough, enough adjustment layers. No, uh, no, I'm just not gonna. I'm, I'm not gonna do this anymore. This is only it's getting worse. Look guys, I know how to do things. I know you understand. Cool, let's do the last one. I hope you enjoy so far. Usually I just have idea where to start, but lately it's been hard. Well, let's, let's see what we have here. create hours using it as an example and use the same techniques that we discover that's what I sometimes do yeah it'll be our main one it's kind of in the middle like this that looks good and then a couple of other we don't need them to be colorful this thing I don't know about this thing I feel like it's Gus Dafferton kind of sign. He, he even has a tattoo of it. I think he claims it. Anyways, the background is kind of grey-ish, mostly like light grey. It gets a little bit darker at points like here. We got a very nicely bent frame. I hate this color. Okay, screw this. Don't listen to what I'm saying. Don't? Don't? No. No! <sighs> it's... Yep. It, it, thank god I saved it. Nice! I'll make it a smart object and I'll put a lure it. It's not really perfect, so let's get well, warp and just do this. Cool. Now I'm gonna drop a shadow. I'm gonna use the brush and just add deeper blue colors somewhere. sign which is color like this I'll duplicate and I'll blur the bottom one what does it say what's the artist does it say letter well, this calligraphy is next level letter blue okay well let's so in some spots there is blueness like here yeah we can see 
now I need to make a grey colour, make it a smart object, go to colour halftone, going to the right here corner, dropping the opacity and changing it to luminosity. Above all that, I want to change selective color. I want to bring in more, like blues have to be like sky blue, not neon blue. I think that's partly what's missing. It's kind of like this depth. I'm kind of have a feeling that the color half tone is done differently. I think I need to leave it on color maybe or something. I mean, if I would, if I would add just a couple of other things, I will use my texture. Haven't done that in a while. I nailed this one. I think so. Oh, where did the thing go? A little cross thing. I think I lost it. I'll just add another one. Cool. I'll save it. I'll save it. Yes, I won this round. Cool. I think that's gonna be it. We're not gonna do another design. You're always welcome to recommend any cover artworks in the comments below. That would be amazing. I hope to see you soon in the next video. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Really, really helps. Goodbye, guys. Whee!